Reporting live from Toronto, where an unexpected horde of Nephilim has breached the walls and is advancing into the new city. With the evacuation procedures underway, a spokesperson from Don reports that their newly formed response team is currently on its way. The team is led by Eiji Murasame, better known as the giant superhero Aegis Prime, who has been fighting the Nephilim for nearly 30 years now. Tempest Galahad, the first combat-ready Atom, and her pilot Jamila Sanai will also see action today, providing firepower and tactical support. Aegis and Tempest will be joined by the recently unveiled results of Dawn's secret research programs, two Nephilim fighting for our side. These are the well-known Ganera, Terror of the Seas, and Megadon, the living volcano. These four warriors represent humankind's last hope. And today, we'll see them strike back against the Nephilim.
begin the offensive push into the old city. You're just ahead. Could it be an Alpha Nephilim?
Aegis. Are you headed for the briefing room too? Huh? Oh, hey, it's the pilot girl. You know you're late, right? God, yes. I'm actually kind of lost. The sunrise is a bit of a maze when you're new to it. It was an honor fighting alongside you in Toronto, by the way. I still can't believe I'm working with the Great Aegis Prime. Not as impressive as my normal size, I know. Wait a second, are you late too? You don't seem to be in much of a hurry. <laughs> what are they gonna do, fire me? <laughs> I don't think the captain will be happy. Relax, Optimus, it's no big deal. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome, Jamila, AG. Congratulations on a successful first mission. This is just the beginning of the operation to take back Toronto. Tomorrow, we're planning to go further into the city. Any questions? No questions, ma'am. But I'd like to say how honored I am to be a part of this historic moment. We'll give it our all. Uh, you'll give it your all. I'll be focused on making sure you don't get killed. Leon, this team is still looking a bit green to be out in the field like this. Encouraging words noted, AG. Luckily, I'm confident enough for the both of us. As am I. Seeing Megadon and Ganera being put to the test, a scientific development of this scale has not been achieved since the slicing of bread. And it'll be a great opportunity to learn more about the Nephilim. Ooh, maybe we'll even discover a new species down there. <gasps> How intriguing! While we plan our next mission, A.G., Jamila, please accompany Dr. Ivakin to R&D. He's got something to show you. Ah, A.G., Jamila, thank you for coming. I have an exciting new discovery to show you. If you'll join me in the R&D department. isolated some new combat-focused mutations into extractable DNA augments and have added them to our inventory. Allow me to demonstrate, please. Uh, select an augment you'd like to equip to Megadon. You can tell that Megadon feels the changes. He's got the strength of an armored tiger. All right. That's all for now. If you're having a tough time, remember to come over to R&D. archives. This is where we keep all of Don- or it was, at least. The databases were wiped, but if you check back in once in a while, I'll be- Let's 
get this done. some encoded radio signals not far from the area you cleared in Old Toronto. Your mission is to find the source. was evacuated ages ago. There should be no one here. Sophia, check if Canadian forces have any units in the area.
signal seems to be coming from an abandoned building up ahead. people doing down there? Having a picnic with the Nephilim? They're scavengers. They use illegal tunnels under the walls to salvage abandoned goods. <sighs> Needlessly endangering lives off the stolen buck. Will they be punished? They're in custody, but I'll try to get them a pardon in exchange for intel on the Nephilim territory. But ma'am, there's more than one way to lose to the Nephilim, Jamila. You should know that better than anyone. Everyone's trying to survive, kid. Let it go. Eiji, my friend. Is something the matter? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out this whole team thing. I've been fighting these monsters for over 20 years, Victor. Now I'm suddenly expected to fight alongside Megadon and Ganera. It doesn't feel right. And it won't, so long as you think of them as these monsters. Think of them as... Uh, as no different than the atoms, or your Sheol powers. We are using the enemy's weapons against them. Are we really using them, though? How do I know Megadon isn't going to suddenly turn against me? Project Raven is a marvel of science, AG. I promise you, you have nothing to fear. Oh, 
Miss and I, is there something I can help you with? Please, call me Jamila. I'm looking for any information we have on Nephilim behavioral patterns. Really? Oh, that's such an exciting topic. The Nephilim are such interesting creatures. Anything specific you're looking for? Mostly weak points to exploit in battle. I'm, uh, looking to optimize my tactics. Oh. Oh, of course. Our files are still a bit of a mess from Professor Maki's disappearance, but I should have something. Let me check. By the way, your piloting skills are amazing. It must have taken a lot of hard work to be able to move like that. Six years of training. It'll be worth it now, though. I've wanted to serve a greater purpose for a long time. And with Galahad at my side, I think I'll finally be able to do it. Trust me, you're already making a big difference. Uh, hey, I think I found something. to engage. The scavengers you rescued have provided us invaluable intel. They've been deeper into Nephilim territory than our drones can reach. A research team led by Dr. Ivakin requested permission to enter the restricted zone to verify the data. Against my better judgment, I let them go. One hour ago, we lost contact. If anything happens to them... Understood. We'll head out right away. my friend, be careful out there. now.
identified Nephilim signature. It is headed straight for us. I think we just found it for ourselves. should be up ahead. Uh, something's got lizard breath riled up. Aegis, that Nephilim signature is still showing on the scanners. It's getting closer. Damn it. There must be more than one target. Keep moving. We can't let the Nephilim get to the researchers. Javakin and the others. They won't. Multiple enemy signatures. Straight ahead. As if just one wasn't enough.
going, my friend. Tempest Galahad, the woman next to Aegis. You were right about her necklace. Uh... Whoa, hey. Uh, are you two lost? Do you know them? Do I know the random children we just found wandering a space station? No. Can't say that I do. Okay, kids. Who wants an autograph? Protocol doesn't allow children in here. We should report this to someone. Ugh. Reports lead to paperwork, Jamila. It's right there in the name. Besides, what do I care if somebody brings their kids to work? Wouldn't want mine involved in any of this, but that's their call. Wait, you have kids? The boy. He'll be 16 in June. I have a picture somewhere. I'll show you. We must take Toronto back. The Commander-in-Chief himself will be arriving to the station soon to oversee this scouting mission. Let's aim to impress. Ugh, not Fosco. Can I skip the debriefing? The team I had in the field believes they've identified an area where the Nephilim could be coming from. We've long suspected that there are nests that spawn more and more Nephilim. Let's figure it out. Get ready. Commander Fosco speaking. I'm excited to see your performance. I know I won't be disappointed. Hey, careful! The area is heavily ionized. Could be a bit volatile. Keep your wits about you.
is bad. It seems that the Nephilim are adapting to the ionized environment. Recording this. This is good PR. Team, eliminate one last swarm, and we'll get ready for extraction. of the day. Another impressive victory. Thank you, Commander. A.G., Jamila, the praise is yours. You're the ones putting your lives on the line. Just fulfilling our duty, ma'am. With all these exciting developments happening, I'll want to see the rest of Operation Toronto up close. I'll see you all for the next mission's briefing. <laughs> if he wants a close-up view, we should bring him down there with us and give him a front row seat. Dr. Ivakin, I'm here to install some of the DNA augments your team has prepared for Tempest. Ah, yes. The engineers told me you wanted to perform the installation yourself. Come, come. Augments are an amazing discovery, yes? Absolutely. About augment installation, though. From what I understand, the Nephilim share genetic structures with the organic components and atoms. But what about ages? Ah, uh, well, uh, not many people know this, but the incident that transformed Eiji into Aegis Prime also altered his DNA. Structurally speaking, his body is quite similar to the Nephilim. And that's why he can grow to that impossible size. Exactly. In a way, we are all rooting for the Nephilim, eh? look familiar. Aren't you that temp from the Brussels branch? Um, no, Mr. Fosco. I was Professor Maki's aide before his disappearance. I've taken over his work on the Sunrise Archives. 
Oh, that's right. My mistake. You two look very similar. Anyways, you know, I've never really understood the point of these archives. How exactly does this place help against the Nephilim? It was Professor Maki's belief, and mine as well, that the answers to the future lie in the past. Our hope was, is, that learning about the Nephilim's origins might help us devise a solution to ending their invasion. Sort of like finding a plug to a drain. Well, what a swell concept. Very interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. Me? I've always been more of a forward thinker. There's no room in the past for the future, dear. <laughs> the way to deal with the Nephilim is by developing weapons that are stronger than them. Ah, but listen to me. Yap, yap, yap. <laughs> I'll let you get back to your thing. Claire seems to think this place is useful, and I suppose I trust her judgment. Good afternoon. There's a new mission for you. Welcome! Is everyone excited for the mission? Our scout drones have confirmed the presence of a Nephilim nest deep within enemy territory. Dr. Cruces. It seems that the underground tendrils the Nephilim come out of are connected to the nest. Destroying it would likely prevent more Nephilim from spawning. So Toronto could be free of Nephilim by dawn. That's amazing! And what's more, the boost to dawn's worldwide popularity will be unparalleled after tonight. Good luck! making an actual change for once. You mean to Don's worldwide popularity? Ages. What? We've got theories like this in the past. War goes on, don't get your hopes up. 